Like any good Vol fan does, you mark your territory, no matter where you're at. Are you pet my cat with those? <laughs> Check out my new tattoo, boys and girls. Is that not sweet? Isn't that awesome? Don't ask me. How you doing tonight? Yeah. What exactly are you petting your cat with? I want to hear the most annoying sound on the planet. Actually, the, the rest of the phrase is pet my cat with those sticky fingers. Oh, but okay. you can't put all that in a box. Or can you? Beer. Beer. I love beer. From Milwaukee, I love beer. I love all kinds of beer. Don't get to drink quite as much as I used to. Um, but I'd love to. But yeah, beer's good. All right? Drunk and tailgater. He's a good shit. Good shit. Huh? Just like you, man. <laughs> <laughs> Drew Brees. Taking him to the Super Bowl. The Trash Talking Circle. Love it. Absolutely love it. Love, love everything about it. Even the guys that hate me, I love that too. Big Gravy. A worthless steaming pile of cow dung. <sighs> Figuratively speaking. <laughs> Big gravy, that's real interesting. Man, you sure do have a lot of haters out there, dude. Family. Mm. Family, there's a lot of joy, a lot of disappointments. Um, you gotta take it and balance it out. Uh, wow, that's a good question. Yeah, family runs deep. I yeah. love and I miss the people up in Wisconsin, I do. Um, my cuz, um, my friends, buddies. Um, yeah, you know, it's, it's good to move away and change and do stuff like that, but you know, it's still in you. But family's good. What are the Saints gonna do this year? They're going, they're, they're going all the way to Super Bowl. Well, providing that there's a season. Incidentally, folks, here's where we are today. I don't know if you can see that. Well. BVD, thanks for uh, stopping by, you know, coming to my no, town. thank you for Com stopping by. Well, actually, coming to my yeah. town, actually coming through, and uh, it's really good getting together with you guys. Uh, when I make my little road trips, I try to find everybody that's close and stop in and say hi, have a beer with them, have a root beer with them, soda, whatever. It's all about fun that's for right. me. See, that's we, right. We had a brew together. That's right. Ciao. You guys get a chance, check this guy out. Pet my cat with those. I know most people in the NFL, TTC, know who he is, but maybe some of the college guys don't. He's funny as shit. He's a cool dude. You know, with some people, when you meet him for the first time, you're both sitting there like, hmm. <laughs> what do we talk about now? This guy's fucking weird. You know? Or what am I going to do to get this guy out of here before he murders me, you know, or something like that. It's not like that. It's a very down-to-earth guy. Very down-to-earth guy, easy to get along with and easy to talk football with and life with. So. It was revealed to me a couple of days ago that Mark Richt wants to do away with the kickoff. Now, last year, a Rutgers player got hurt paralyzed, if I'm not mistaken, from the neck down, or maybe the waist down, as a result of a hit he laid on someone on a kickoff. Okay, yeah, people get hurt playing football. Greg Schiano wants to do away with the kickoff in football because it's violent. It's large, fast men running downfield at full speed, hurling themselves into the opponent. 
Mark Rick agrees and would like to see the kickoff done away with. Okay. If you haven't seen that hit, go back and watch the hit. There's a video on YouTube here, plenty of them. I can't remember the young man's name, and it is awful that he's paralyzed. I feel terrible for the kid and his family. But if you go watch the hit, the kid led with his helmet. That's a no-no. You do not lead with your helmet when tackling because bad things can happen to either you or the person you're hitting. In this case, it happened to the guy leading with his helmet. I'm not talking shit about the kid. I'm just saying, don't lead with your helmet. If the kid makes a, the, pro, the proper tackle on that play, he's still playing football today. I sprayed myself with off because our backyard is infested with mosquitoes, right? And then, as I was carrying in the toilet paper, I put it under my arm. I was freaking out a minute ago. I was like, holy shit, what happened? So kids, if you want to freak your parents out, get yourself some off. Deep woods off. Spray yourself down with it real good and then carry around a pack of toilet paper for five or so minutes and you'll have yourself a brand new temporary tattoo. And parents, fear not. With a mere 30 minutes of scrubbing with some hot soapy water, the temporary tattoo does mostly come off. <laughs>